What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a smooth looking checkout using a plugin that I recently found. Now the checkout page that we're going to be creating looks exactly like this. Now before I get into this I honestly want to mention that this is not a free plugin. You do have to pay for this plugin and I'm not being paid to make this video. It's honestly a plugin that I use for some of my websites and I honestly really like it. So I thought that I would share it to you guys. I do have an affiliate link down below. So if you guys do want to check that out and also support the channel, that will be greatly appreciated. But to be honest, I will only ever show you guys a plugin that I honestly use on, on my websites. I'm not really doing any of those paid um, videos just because I don't know if it's if the plugin is going to be right for you or if it's going to affect your website. So that's kind of why I really don't do any of those paid videos just because I want to make sure that that I can use this plugin and it's going to be great for you as well. So um, besides all that stuff, let's just dive right in. So this is a Shopify looking checkout. They do have different templates that you guys can use as well. I think only three other ones um, besides this one. And they all look really clean. I feel like it's going to definitely help you convert your customers better. So let me go ahead and just test this out. So basically you would just add your shipping um, information in here. You would go to continue shipping and then you would add your uh, shipping method and then continue to payment. It really just breaks everything down step by steps, makes everything look really smooth. Definitely certain that it will help you guys out when it comes to converting your uh, customers. Um, and then people can just go ahead and add their, their payment method here. It is, it is compatible with quite a bit of payment methods. I'm actually going to go on here and, and show you guys which ones um, they're down here. So as you can tell, authorized.net, PayPal, Stripe, and a bunch of others. So this is their landing page as well. They do offer a free seven day trial. So if you guys do want to try it out and hopefully get your money back within those seven days, if it doesn't work out, you guys can definitely do that. Um, but that's it. That's entirely up to you. So let me just go through some of the back end settings here. So once you go into pricing, they do have a yearly and a monthly. It's definitely affordable. Definitely the, the monthly one. I know it is one website, but $25. They do have it for five websites as well. But if you if you guys do have an e-commerce website that's making you, you know, a good amount of revenue each month, it's definitely worth um, investing. So that's entirely up to you. Uh, like I said, you can go ahead and start a trial. So you can just go ahead and click your start trial, create an account, and then they're going to give you a download link. And you're basically just going to upload it to your website and you're going to add your license. And where you're going to find that is under checkout WC. And you're going to go into um, license and just add your license in here. Now I'm just going to go through some of the settings on here. Um, not really everything, just the ones that I feel like are important to you guys. So there are a few here, which is a registration style. So automatically generate a username and password whenever someone, um, you know, buys from you, uh, the system's automatically going to create them an account. Um, that's up to you if you guys want to have that. Some of these other settings aren't really that important, but you can also um, skip your shipping step as well if that was something that you wanted to do. And a bunch of other settings here, you can enable credit card logos on mobile. I haven't tested that one out too much, but you guys can definitely see if that works for you. And then over here, we have some premium features, which is not really important. That's only for the, the more higher um, package that they have. Mm -hmm. The most important one is probably your templates. Now, like I said, they do have four templates that you guys can choose from. I'm currently using the Copify. Sounds kind of familiar, right? Uh, you can use all these other ones here. Um, this one looks pretty nice. This one as well is really clean. And and this and even the glass one looks uh, looks looks actually really good. They all they're honestly they all look fantastic compared to the, the regular checkout that we get from, you know, WordPress or WooCommerce. So it's way better than that uh, default checkout. And then we have, if you go ahead and click on design, you can add your, your logo here. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about when I say logo and design and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go to the checkout here. And basically this is a logo that goes here. And then you can add some uh, footer information which would go right under here. It would replace this one here and then, and then um, add the information that you added here. And then we have just uh, the body font that you wanna have and just colors. This is all pretty self-explanatory, I feel like. One of the other important parts that I did want to go over, though, it is compatible with Elementor, which is kind of cool, at least Elementor Pro. So if you did want to have your, your header and footer at the bottom, 
what you would do is just click on enable Elementor Pro support. And right after that, you would see your header um, and footer at the bottom. I'm currently using Cadence and I'm using their header and footer. So it's really not gonna work out if I even enable that, so it won't work. But I know for a fact that it will work for you, work for you once you enable it, because I've tested it out. Um, and then just click uh, Save Changes. And then we just have tools and support, which are really not that important unless you do need some help. And they do have this little help um, icon here. I mean, and you can just click on that and just search for anything that any help that you may need. Maybe you can find an article about it. That is pretty much it for this video, guys. It's honestly just really cool. I, I'm just like blown away when I when I first went on here and I checked it out and I tested it. I was pretty blown away to just how well it works. And I tested it on a few other accounts and now I'm just kind of using that now. It's just entirely up to you if you either you want to use this or you know a different plugin for your checkout. I do have other videos on creating different checkouts, but to be honest, by far this is the best one. But the only downside is you have to pay for it. But I definitely think it's worth it if you're making a consistent revenue for your um, e-commerce website. Obviously, if you're first starting out, then probably not the best thing to do until you start to pick up those sales. And I would definitely invest in that. But yeah, that's everything for this video. If you guys did find this helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.